welcome to Personal Finance Literacy Unit 6, Consumer Awareness. Before you begin. Directions. Read each statement and put your answer in the before column. Then, after instruction, review the before column and amend your answers in the after column if you so choose. Number one. What percentage of 90 days same as cash purchases are not paid in 90 days and convert to payments? 25%, 50%, 75%, or more than 75%. Number two, the average cost of a 30 second television advertisement during the 2013 Super Bowl was 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, or 4 million. Number three, The average American was exposed to almost 560 advertisements daily in 1971. Today, that number is closer to 1,500, 2,500, 3,000, or more than 5,000. Number four, a Harvard University study found that for every hour of television you watch each week, your yearly spending increases by an average of $50, $100, $200, five hundred dollars number five the fashion category accounts for about blank percent of teen spending 10 25 40 or 75 let's take a moment to journal how does advertising affect your buying decisions write three or more sentences to address this prompt section one buyer beware the most marketed to culture in history. We live in the most marketed to culture in the history of the world. If you're going to have financial peace, you're going to have to develop a resistance to that marketing. It's not that buying things is bad, but buying too many things with money you don't have to impress people you really don't like, that's a bad idea. Caveat emptor means buyer beware. We're not saying that you can't have a good time with your money. Remember, we want you to live like no one else, so later you can live like no one else. We want to sacrifice to win, and then we want to enjoy the winning. There's nothing wrong with buying a good product. A good salesman has a servant's heart, knows how to sell, and is professional, all of which can make the process pretty fun. Companies use every single angle to aggressively compete for our money. Companies that are not sophisticated and aggressive in their marketing or do not have a marketing budget generally do not stay open. Competition is fierce for the consumer dollar. Here's another journal question. Why is it important for consumers to be aware of marketing tactics? Write three or more sentences to address this prompt. Civics Connection. The U.S. economic system is called a market or free enterprise system, also called capitalism. Compared to other nations, the U.S. government plays a small role in the economy. The goal of our government's economic policies is to create economic stability and prosperity for its citizens. The government does this by enacting laws and regulations to ensure fair trade and competition. Some Americans are opposed to even the slightest government involvement in the economy. Prepare for discussion. Jot down what you might say in a class discussion based on these two questions. What are some ways that companies compete for your money? Besides marketing, what are some other factors that influence your purchasing decisions? Four common marketing tactics. When you turn on the TV, listen to the radio, surf the web, or walk into the mall, you are stepping into battle, a battle for your dollars. Today, companies use every angle imaginable to aggressively compete for your money. The purpose of advertising is to inform, tease, and persuade consumers to purchase products. When you're aware of these techniques, you are more wise as consumers. Here are four common marketing strategies. One. One of the techniques is personal selling. People who know how to sell spend thousands of dollars and hours sitting in a classroom learning how to talk to you, to serve you, to assist you in your decisions to buy their stuff. Two, the second technique is financing. 
They use money and easy payments as a marketing tool. They don't want you to think about how much something actually costs, rather how much down and how much per month. Journal topic. What are some of your favorite brands? Think soft drinks, clothing, etc. And then include why do you like them? Write three or more sentences to address this prompt. Number three. Other media like TV, radio, and internet use repetition to sell products. How does repetition work? In advertising, repetition means repeated exposure. Over time, repeated messages become familiar and accepted as true. Companies behind the ads are willing to pay for such repetition because it works. Four, when it comes to marketing, they also use product positioning. Types of product positioning. Brand recognition. When marketing causes you to position a product in your mind to be associated with a certain value. Let's journal. Describe one way advertising has played a role in something you've purchased. Write three or more sentences to address this prompt. How could you use the marketing methods of companies to your own advantage? Let's write a CER where we make a claim, provide evidence from the notes thus far, and then explain your reasoning. How does the evidence support your claim? Continuing types of product positioning. Color. Color matters when you're doing product position. Color has an impact on consumer reaction to a product. Shelf position. Companies pay for prime shelf position in stores. It's a bought shelf position. It is meant to influence impulse buying. Packaging. The design, the look, and the feel of the package are all meant to have an impact on you. There's no reason to be paranoid, but marketers are very sophisticated, so we should at least be aware. Journal topic. What have you bought that you thought would make you happy, but in the end, it didn't? Write three or more sentences. Section two, buyer's remorse. Significant purchases. Your body goes through physiological changes when you make a significant purchase. You sweat, your eyes dilate, your pulse rate changes, proteins and endorphins are released. A significant purchase is normally anything over $300. Buyer's remorse is when you wake up the next day and regret your purchase. We all have that spoiled grocery store kid living inside of us. His name is immaturity. When it comes to spending, adults devise a plan and follow it. When it comes to big purchases, the right way to do it is to save up and pay cash. Let's journal on this topic. List at least three things that you or someone you know have bought, but never or rarely use. Critical thinking exercise. Using a provided sample magazine ad and the information from Brock University linked here, complete the chart based on this question. What factors should you consider when evaluating a marketing claim? You'll list the factors on the left side of the chart, and then you'll list your reasoning or logic in complete sentences on the right side. An example would be, if there is a claim made in the ad, are there studies that support the marketing claim? If so, was the study done by an independent lamb or is it biased? Prepare for discussion. Jot down what you might say. When considering your buying motives, you should be sure that you are not confusing happiness with fun. Explain what Dave means by this. Section three, buyer's remorse. Develop power over purchase. Because it's always easy to spend more than you make, you must develop power over purchase. It doesn't matter how much money you make. If you have a spending plan and power over purchase, you can win with money. Having power over purchase involves following these steps. First, wait overnight before making a purchase. Take the time to consider whether it is a need or a want and make sure you've budgeted for it. Number two, consider your buying motives. No amount of stuff equals contentment or fulfillment. People sometimes get happiness and fun confused. 
You buy fun, but you can't buy happiness. Happiness is where you are right now. Claim it for yourself. Number three, never buy anything you do not understand, particularly financial products like insurance or investments. Four, consider the opportunity cost of your money, which means that money spent here cannot be spent there. Whenever you make a choice, you must pass up other opportunities. Take your time and make the right decision. Five, seek wise counsel. Young adults who are not yet married should find an accountability partner, someone with whom you can discuss big purchases. Once you are married, you should seek the the counsel of your spouse. Journal time. Explain why it is important to develop power over purchase. How does inflation affect your buying power? Inflation can be described as the persistent increase in the cost of goods and services or the persistent decline in the buying power of money. Regardless of how you describe it, inflation basically means your dollars buy less than they used to. You must consider inflation when planning for future expenses, especially retirement. So what should you do? Pay attention to the long-term rate of inflation. This can make inflation trends more predictable. Be sure to consider inflation in your investment planning. Factor a realistic inflation expectation into your financial planning. For instance, what might you expect your cost of living to be by the time you retire? Let's look at the graph. The average from 1913 to 2012 was approximately 3.5%. If we're looking at someone who's about to retire now, they would have started planning, hopefully, between 1930 and 1939. So if we look at the math, their long-term average inflation rate would be 3.2%. Chapter summary. Return to the first page with the before you begin and fill in the after column. You may change some answers if you've learned a thing or two. Build on what you've learned. Describe three instances where peer pressure has influenced your decisions about a purchase. Write down the item or event that you bought and explain the peer pressure and other feelings associated with this purchase. 